Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about bullet journaling for students because now is the back to school season and I would like to share with you guys some easy and simple bullet journal spreads for school or university. And the notebook that I'm using is from Maisie Lane and you can use my code LUTINGSTUDIO15 to enjoy a 15% discount. And now without further ado, let's get started. So the first page is just a place for you to write down your name or any contact information in case it gets lost. Now, the spread over here is a semester log and it is quite similar to a future log. But for a semester log, you don't need to add all the 12 months, just the months of your semester. Like for example, my year 3 semester 1 starts in October and it ends in February, so there's only 5 months in my semester log. And now, the function of the spread is for you to write down all your deadlines, assignments, exams, and so on so that you can stay organized and not miss any important dates. And to make it easier to understand visually, you can have a color coding system for each subject. Now, the next spread that I'm going to show you is the timetable. So the horizontal axis is the days of the week, Monday to Sunday, and the vertical axis is the time of the day. And in this timetable, you need to write down your class schedule. Like for example, I have this English class on Wednesday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So what I'm going to do is just fill in that part of the day with my highlighter or brush pen. And you can use different colors for different subjects, so it is more easier to understand visually. And over here, you can see the pastel colors are for class schedule and you can see me using some more earth tone colors for my daily routine. So that means besides adding your class schedule, you can add your meal time, workout session, meetings, and study session too. So in short, for this spread, the focus is on classes, but it's up to you to add what you want. Now, these two pages are my class info spreads. So for me, I have like six causes for my next semester. So I'm going to have six boxes over here. And for each of them, I'm going to write down the course code, the name of the course, day, time, place, professor's name, and his or her email. So I know some of you guys might think that it's a hassle to write all the class info, although it's available in the school's website or even the lecturer's notes, but I think it is more convenient and time-saving if I have all the info in just one place. Now, flipping over to the next page is the course overview or subject overview. So I'm going to use one full page for each course and at the top of the page, I will write down the course code. And below that, we have the grade weightage where I can keep track of the grade weightage for my quizzes, assignment, test one, midterms, and finals. And after the grade weightage, we have the schedule. So I have 14 weeks of lecture and I'm going to write down the topics that were taught for each week. And the last one is the assignment tracker that helps me keep track of my assignments. So I have five columns, which is for assignment name, due date, grade percentage, a checkbox, and the final grade that I receive. And now I'm going to show you what bullet journal spreads you can do for each month. So for each month, you can have a monthly calendar spread. So although you have a semester log in front, but a monthly calendar spread really does help out a lot because you have more space to write on. But the function is basically the same as the semester log. And if you want, you can also add like a monthly goal or task at the side too. So after the monthly calendar spread, I'm going to show you some weekly spread ideas. So the first weekly spread is in the horizontal layout and under each day, you can write your daily to-do list. And at the left side, we have a space for events where you can write any important events for the week like club meetings. And at the right side, we have the next week to-do list. So this is for you to write down any important events or tasks that are happening next week. So this is very nice if you haven't set up your weekly spread for the next week. Now, the second spread that I'm going to show you is a weekly spread that focuses more on time blocking. So time blocking is a really good productivity technique for time management where you divide your day into blocks of time. And each block is dedicated to a specific task or to do. Like for example, I have classes from 8 to 12 p.m. and from 7 to 8 p.m. is my workout session and from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. is my study session. 
So all I have to do is just follow my time block schedule and I think this method really helps me to focus my attention as well as warding off procrastination. And below the time block schedule, you can leave some space to write down your other tasks as well. And now I'm going to talk about trackers. So the first tracker is the budget tracker and it is super helpful to let you know how much money you spent and where you spent it on. And here's a very basic tracker spread where there's four different colored dots for a different category of spending at the top and a table with four columns that stands for the date, detail, type of spending and amount. And at the bottom, you can total everything up at the end of the month. So this is how you use it. So on this day, which is the 1st of October, I bought some pens which is in the school category. So I'm going to use the pink brush pen and the total amount is $10. So I'm just going to write $10 in the amount column. Now the next page is the habit tracker. So in school, it's not only important to keep up your grades, but you should also look out for yourself and make sure you do other things other than studying. So with the habit tracker, you can track habits like reading, journaling, working out, and so on. And if you're wondering how to use the habit tracker, you just need to write down the habit that you want to track. And when you've done that habit on a specific day, you can just color the little box that represents that specific day. Now, besides tracking habits, you can also have a study tracker. So for the study tracker, the horizontal axis represents the hours of study and the vertical axis represents the days of the month. So this is how you use it. Like on the second day of the month, I spent one hour of studying. So I'm going to draw a line until the one hour mark. And then I'm going to use my black pen to write down one hour at the side of the line. And besides a study tracker, you can also have a sleep tracker because sleep is important. And if you don't get enough of it, you will become restless and it will be hard for you to focus in class. And this is how you use it. Like on the second day of the month, I slept at 12 and woke up at 9. So I'm just going to draw a line between the number 12 and 9. And the last spread that I'm going to show you is a self-care page. So self-care means taking care of yourself and self-care is very important for you to maintain a healthy relationship with yourself. And besides that, self-care also has a lot of benefits like improving both physical and mental health. However, the spread is not compulsory. You can choose to not include it in your setup, but I think it's really good to just list down the things that genuinely makes you happy and relaxed. So this is the end of this video and I hope you find it helpful. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and follow my Instagram and Kofi at Looting Studio. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and take care everyone.